nobody can deny that SpaceX is now the powerful rocket in the world. To get that, the chief engineer is one of the most important. But who is he? Some say that he is an alien. Others say that he is an artificial intelligence robot. Uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us, I don't know. Uh, some people think I'm an alien. But when he comes down to SpaceX, Elon Musk is a real scientist. Most people don't realize that. Even his own friends ask him, who is the chief engineer for SpaceX? Not realizing it's Elon himself. First, we will take a look at what is the thinking process of Elon Musk different from ours? Elon Musk is a scientist and physicist on the inside and an engineer on the outside. So, we will also take a brief look at the thinking process behind physics and the techniques that anyone can use to view the world. He tends to approach things from a physics framework. And physics teaches reason from first principles rather than by analogy. When he was a little kid, he was really scared of the dark. But then he came to understand dark just means the absence of photons in the visible wavelength. Then he thought it's really silly to be afraid of lack of photons. That is how he viewed and explained. And Elon Musk does this with maybe everything that he thinks about breaking everything down even down to the fundamental laws of physics. In 2002, Musk began his quest to send the first rocket to Mars, an idea that would eventually become the aerospace company SpaceX. He ran into a major challenge right off the bat. After visiting a number of aerospace manufacturers around the world, Musk discovered the cost of purchasing a rocket was astronomical, up to $65 million. Given the high price, he began to rethink the problem. I tend to approach things from a physics framework, Musk said in an interview. Physics teaches you to reason from first principles rather than by analogy. So I said, okay, let's look at the first principles. What is a rocket made of? Aerospace-grade aluminum alloys, plus some titanium copper and carbon fiber. Then I asked, what is the value of those materials on the commodity market? It turned out that the materials cost of a rocket was around 2% of the typical price. Instead of buying a finished rocket for tens of millions, Musk decided to create his own company, purchase the raw materials for cheap, and build the rockets himself. SpaceX was born. How Elon Musk is trained as a successful scientist? There is a fact that Elon Musk has bachelor's degrees in physics and economics from the University of Pennsylvania, but it's an absurd overstatement to say that prepared him to run SpaceX, his spacecraft company. So how can he do it? What are the secrets behind we don't know? Musk literally taught himself rocket science by reading textbooks and talking to industry heavyweights. First, whenever anyone asks him how he learned to build space traveling rockets, this is his three-word answer, I read books. When he was a kid Elon Musk would read up to 10 hours a day. Musk was raised by books. He even read two sets of encyclopedias which gave a good view of how different things could be connected. He committed textbooks to memory. He is the smartest guy I've ever met, period, Cantrell who was on the founding teams of SpaceX told. I know that sounds overblown, but I've met plenty of smart people, and I don't say that lightly. He's absolutely freaking amazing. I don't even think he sleeps. Musk borrowed Cantrell's college textbooks on rocketry and propulsion, and got reading, eventually being able to recite from memory books like Fundamentals of Astrodynamics, and the International Reference Guide to Space Launch Systems. He devoured those books and he became very conversant in the material. Musk would quote passages verbatim from these books. The second way that Elon Musk teaches himself about a subject and an industry is by surrounding himself with smart people. He built a network of the smartest people. Musk moved from Silicon Valley down to LA. This was because LA would bring Musk closer to the space industry. Around LA you had organizations that had set up their space efforts from Howard Hughes and the US Air Force to NASA. They all developed a lot of their aeronautical work here. Musk knows everything about what he's building but of course, even he understands that he can't master everything. That's why he used Cantrell's network in the aerospace industry to gather some of the best in the business. It was like Space Apalooza. For example, they hired the rocket engineer Tom Muller, who Cantrell says is the smartest propulsion expert out there. Musk respected his deep knowledge and let him take care of things that he learned from years of research. In the same way that Musk absorbed books, he tried doing that with other people's expertise. He would suck the experience out of them, 
He truly listens to people. One employee said that Elon Musk would quiz you until he had learned 90. Musk would absorb his information and then hold his own in conversations. This made Elon Musk an aerospace expert beyond what most people had seen. Do you agree with me that what Elon did was very different? He didn't just throw some play money in. He put in his heart, his soul, and his mind. Thank you.